Hi ladies, guess what? It's me again, Carol with a K. I have something today to show you. You know how many of you have long hair? Of course, don't look at me. I have very short hair. But long hair, and you put it up in the ponytail, and you put those little scrunchies on. Well, we're going to make scrunchies today, and I'm going to show you how. We're going to take a fat quarter, which is 18 by 22, and we're going to fold it like this, and fold it one more time, and we're going to go like this. So when I'm doing this, as you see, it will make some creases in this. And that'll be helpful when we start to cut. Pause. Okay, and so here's what we're gonna do as we open this up. Now you, like I said, you already have all those little lines in here, which we'll turn it this way and you can see it better. And you can take and you just start cutting. Now look, I'm not doing it perfectly, perfectly straight. There's jagged edges on here. Oh my. But you see, I am not a perfectionist, and, but I'm also a lot straighter than this normally. But what we're doing is we're gonna take this and we're gonna make four scrunchies. And that's how you start making the scrunchies. And you can make four of them. You know that we've already cut these, but to save some time, what we're doing is we're going to show you a little bit of how to do this uh, this way. And we got a little different colors every time we're working along. So I'm gonna sit down at my sewing machine and I'm going to take this and I'm going to make what they call a three little stitch. And it makes it goes backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And I'm not going to go real far with it. Okay, that's that one. I'll bring my needle up. And we're going to cut this off. Okay, now we got to take the other end of this elastic. We got a ways to go. So we got to come down here and put this on here. And we're going to do the same thing we just did up there at the other end. Put our presser foot down, take and sew this a little bit. Uh, well, we don't want the needle to come and bring my, stop it. So let's take it and put it under there and we just won't go fast. Okay, just enough to get it so it's really tacked down there good and tight. Okay, we're gonna cut that off. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna take this. You see how this is like this? Well, we wanna make it so it's this way. And we wanna get the material folded like so, right in half. And this is gonna be on the back side of it. So it will be like this. Well, let's get one that's pinned. That way it makes it a lot easier to see. Of course, this one isn't the black elastic, it's white. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start two inches, anywhere from two to three inches in. And we're gonna start to sew here, okay? So my pins are about here. We're gonna start a little bit, maybe before. And we're gonna sit our sewing machine just so it's ready to go and I've been known they call me Speedy Gonzalez and I guess I should slow my machine down a little bit and as you watch you see I'm just going right along the edge it doesn't have to be perfect and we're almost coming to the end and when we're doing this you can make these four of them in, in, uh, within no time at all. And you want to make sure you backstitch a little bit so it doesn't come apart. And then we're going to lift my needle up, take this, come here, 
and we're going to do this. Now the next step would be to take and get both of these together and we want them right sides together. I am. So I'm going to show you on this one. So we've got a scrunchie here. It's been turned inside out, as you can see. And here's how we're going to pull it out. You pull, put the one end in and just start pulling. And then here you go. This is what happens. You got a cute little scrunchie. Oh, I'm so excited. And so here's, here's how it goes. Look at that. Oh, and these are little animals going along the edge. Aren't they cute? Okay, now we're gonna take this and we're going to sew this, maybe, sew this onto this. Is that this one that I wanna do? No. Okay, so I showed you how to turn it inside out. I really like him. Oh, now we've got one that's multicolored. Woo-wee! All right. Now, if you have left your selvage on, you want to make sure you don't sew into the selvage. You want to come a little bit past the selvage. So you're going to take this, and you're going to sew this right here onto here. And you're going to make sure, I presume most of you will want to pin. And just so there are those of you that like to pin, I will pin. I'm one of those people that I kind of eyeball things. <sighs> okay, now here we go. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez is now on board. Backwards. Okay. Remember, we're not going into the salvage and you're going to catch that elastic real good. And you wanna make sure this is out. And I'm gonna go over that elastic just a little bit. I, just to make sure. Okay, here we go. Off we go. And backwards and forwards. And that's it. Okay, now we're gonna cut this. And of course, that will do this. Now, how long has this taken? This hasn't, even though I have all these prepared, it didn't take that long. Now, the next thing, we're going to take this one. We're in the forest, I think. Or no, these are four leaf clovers, so this is going to be really, really good because this will be, this will be our lucky scrunchie. And you're going to take this and you're just going to pin it. This I definitely am going to pin. And I'm pinning them going in this direction because when I put this on my sewing machine, I don't want my scrunchie over here. I want it on this side, on the left side of the needle. So when you're going to... Now, you could iron this down and put a crease in it and everything else. But if you're like me, you're just going to... You're going to wing it. Don't wing it too much or you may miss the... May miss the seam. Okay, there's that. And now I'm gonna pull a little bit because I want to keep make sure my seams are even, or at least approximately even. Almost. We're almost there. We don't want any of that sticking out. So we're gonna push that in. And here we go. And you're going to back stitch. And that's it. We're off to the races. And look at this. You're going to cut it. You're going to go like this because you want it to scrunch up. And look at this one. It's already done. Mm. I put it in my hair, but I don't think I have enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies, enjoy it and make lots of them because there's a lot of kids out there that love scrunchies. You got scraps of material? Aha. 
four inches by 18 by 22 and use eight to 10 inch pieces of elastic. Hey girls, have a wonderful summer and I'll talk to you again.